All right, I'm sitting here with Lips from Anvil. Right, well, let me bring, bring you up to date. You and I have had really great conversations about your lyrics, and you were impressed at how well I knew your lyrics and how I really was impressed at how you've written some amazing lyrics and how they've been that, so... That, that's interesting because that's completely, that's completely diametrically opposed to what, how people... Exactly, that's what you said. people fucking perceive Anvil. That's what you said. It's like... You, nothing could make me more fucking angry. <laughs> That's what we had the conversation. You know, I'm reading. I'm reading some somebody just recently. They on on Ghost Shadow is slagging Anvil lyrics. What's wrong with the lyrics for fucking Ghost Shadow? I don't know. I don't care. We, we well, I'm just saying that it, it, you, when you it doesn't it doesn't add up. Okay. The the the, the whole thing is. Um, and, and I can be really fucking uh, honest about it and, and, and straight. People got... Uh, uh, the metal community is homophobic like you would not oh, fucking absolutely. believe. absolutely. Yeah, you don't have absolutely. to tell me that. Okay? And yeah. whether whether that, that's a good thing or bad thing or whatever it is, it's fucking... Okay, so when Anvil wrote songs about sexuality and stuff like that... Which I love. And the fact that I use a vibrator, I am... I am cancel culture oh, material. Fuck that. You've been using a vibrator for fucking 40 years. I know, but that's cu cancel culture to the homophobic fuck aspect of oh, the, the lips, metal people. Lips. It's true. I went to a Slayer. It's fucking true. And there is no, absolutely no fucking sense of humor, which is ridiculous. No, dude, you first, you know what I mean? first of all, it's it completely ridiculous. Your sexual no lyrics, fucking sense of humor out there. Your like, sexual the lyrics hell? have some of the most wit and witticism ever. Man over broad, uh, knee high and hair pie. I mean, you know, show me your tits. Those aren't just sexual. There's so much wit and witticism to some of the lyrics. Yeah, but the, if you read it, I do read it. If, I can quote it. I can sing it to you. Take the time to read Trust it. Trust me, I and love delve it. Delve into what the fuck. Toe happened. jam. The way Come that, on. I know yeah, your lyrics. You know, okay, the thing the lyrics, is, yeah. when you actually, you think it, you know, people that they, they can't shit lyricist. Okay, no. Let me see way. your lyrics, buddy. You are not a shit lyricist. You know what I'm let me see your lyrics. No Go way. write a. You know, the people you and I, are reading the lyrics to Lockdown. They're going, how fucking cheese? How no fucking way! Cheese? I love Lockdown. And I'm going. I get what? tears. I get tears it's like in my eyes. Fucking honest and straight. I get tears like, in my oh eyes when I hear that God. because I know you spoke to Jimmy from Metal Voice and talked about how you had COVID when you wrote that song. So yeah. I'm I'm well aware of the. I get tears I in my eyes. Like, I like, love what Lockdown. The, what the one of my fuck favorite is, songs. Well, like what the fuck see, is with that's the just people it. out there? We're, what are you carving? We're on? from a generation where people like to take the shortcut through everything. They don't want to go back and do the research. I've been following well, it's Anvil. Not even that. I've been you know, following Anvil for so long. Much worse than that. People don't read or can't read. Well, I know they breed, but and they don't really, read. Really, really low. They breed, uh, but they don't read. Yeah, and low, <laughs> low comprehension. I agree. We know. And I, it, I don't. I, I'm. It's not that I'm being judgmental. No, it's the other realistic. way around. No, I, yeah, I agree. No, we have got to, all the. You got all these judges sitting there telling you you suck, but it's like. Maybe they're just jealous. Think about it. You and I had this conversation before. We talked about Bitch in the Box. And you talked about all the shit you got about for Bitch in the Box. Oh, yeah. They didn't even know your could... wife suggested the yeah, Bitch in the Box. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a prime example right there. There's your a, wife suggested yeah. Bitch in, in the, the Box. Bitch in the Box. Hey, man, that's... that's, that's Misogynistic, fucking, right? That's... that's, that's Misogynistic. That's, and, and yeah, it's anti-feminine. Like, but it's, it's not. Like, His wife suggested it. It, it was my wife's idea. It was my wife's mean? idea. Yeah. See, I told you, we've had, now you're starting to remember this conversation you and I had about lyrics, and right. how much I really know your lyrics, and how I really respect your lyrics, and I can read between the lies and what's going on. And first of all, you write great political lyrics, you write great personal lyrics. Some of your lyrics on Hope and Hell are some of the most spiritual lyrics Anvil's ever written. And, I mean, even going back as free as the wind, you know, you, you've always had great metaphysical lyrics. But the sex lyrics, first of all, you're a guy... You, you, you grew up in the, in, the, in the 60s and the 70s where sex was more prevalent and more open and people were more like in your face with sex, you know, and so Kiss did it 
so why can't Anvil do it? You name the band Kiss. You name like them all. You, like you, what the fuck? You name the band. You name the band Anvil because you couldn't be called Lips because of Lips Incorporated because of Funky Town. Right. So you know, I mean, people don't know the history behind it. So they see a song like Lockdown, they think, oh, he wrote a song about COVID nineteen. Not knowing the man had COVID nineteen. Not knowing the inspiration that came because they couldn't tour with Legal at Last to the point that they put out their best album since Hope and Hell. Not realizing that some of these lyrics. I mean, when you listen to songs, I mean, I've, I've listened to this album so many times, it's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, they might think Wizards Wands cheesy or something like that, but when you listen to songs like, what's the song with hate in it? Um, so someone, uh, someone to hate. I, it, it's so true. First of all, I think of Donald Trump because he's someone I want to hate. And then you have a song down the rabbit hole, and I think that's what so many people have done. I, mean, I just watched. I spent. I was up till four in the morning last night watching the trials, you know, about January six because there's so many people who've fallen down the rabbit hole. Okay. Because, no, no, no. Are you are you the same guy that we sat in front of that church? Yes. Yes. Well, then I do remember you. <laughs> it's just that I don't. I understand. I don't. Yeah. Process. I recall. Yes, I. Come. You're my only fucking lyric fan <laughs> in the whole fucking world. Thank you. And I no, do. No, I, I love mean, you. I, I mean, it's 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 wonderful to talk to you. I, I'm yeah. I'm saying it like it is. It's wonderful to talk to you because it's, you're like, the way that I kind of looked at it, I'm going, you're the only, you're one of the, you're really the only person that has ever actually come that much forward to me and talked about, about what we, what we're talking about right now. Right. Usually, um, the lyrics aren't usually talked about and they're actually, they're part of they're part of the apex. They're part of the fucking top of the mountain. And, and, and let's not just what Anvil is. Yeah. Let's not like, just go with the what fact. What the Anvil. fuck? The chorus. I don't get it. The chorus that he's so singing good. is the guitar solo that you just heard. So you hear that guitar solo and you're like, oh my god, that's the chorus. So he's writing these lyrics around the fact that he's writing this music. That takes talent to be able to play that music, play the guitar as well as you do. Forget about the dildo or the vibrator to play the guitar as well as you do, and also write the chorus and lyrics around that. That's not that that takes talent. And the other thing is they, they may make all these stupid comparisons to all these other bands and stuff like that, but they don't get it because they don't want to get it, because they want to dismiss it. The movie's been over 10 years old. You know, it, it's like, let's move on to the next big thing. Let's move on to the next thing. Oh, they had an album called Legal at Last. They're just a bunch of potheads. Well, so fucking what? They admit it. That's what Legal at Last, they got busted in fucking, you know, Yeah, but they're not, looking, they're not looking into the what what's, what's behind the... It's like... The lyrics to Legal at Last are... Honest. <laughs> yeah, but they're also... They're not like what you'd think they would be. Well, you guys got busted in Nebraska just because you crossed the border, right? Yeah, but... <laughs> but, but you know, well, you could okay. have written a song, Legal at Last, and talked about, yeah, I'm smoking this bud and smoking that bud. And right, right. This, that, the other. That's not what it's about. It's, it's, it's about it's about the actual, you know... Um, we've got to take responsibility for, for and, and, and the government... The government uh, is given, and it's another another human vice. Give me, give me doctors' good advice. Just another human vice. That the government's okayed. Those are the lyrics. What the fuck is wrong with saying that? Right. I mean, for if, so if long. To even put that into it, the way that, that that it's really fucking difficult to be straightforward. When you write lyrics and not be cheese, but have depth. They do have depth. That's really fucking hard to do. I mean, ever but since when when it's when it's it's so simple, like Anvil music, it's really easy to listen to. But if you play the instrument and have to learn it, you're going to be struggling. Yeah, and his 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 guitar work never ceases to amaze me. It, no, it, it's true. It's easy. It's easy to. It's easy as pie to listen to anvil lyrics, and you hear them and what they are, and 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 sometimes they're so. And the other thing about 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 my voice in particular, I have amazing enunciation. I agree. Oh, yes. You can hear everything I'm fucking singing, I'm, I'm, which is really I'm, unusual. I'm sorry to with, laugh. With, with, with metal I was, bands. I was listening to Monument of Metal this morning, and it's, Park! Park that drop! Park that! <laughs> you know, it's no, just, but I, but I agree. It's no, an no, emphasis, no, it, that, it, it, that it's staccato true. emphasis. And, and as a result of that, you're actually, for the first time when you're listening to a metal band doing a metal song, you're hearing the lyrics. Right. 
And then, so and because of that, you get an emotional response, and many times it's negative. And, and the first CD that I ever bought from Anvil was Speed of Sound. And, you know, the lyrics on that are just amazing. I, mean, I laugh my ass off with Man of Abroad. But then you got stories about abuse on the playground. So, I mean, it's like you got a perfect yin and yang. you got a perfect balance of, of songs on that album. you got a perfect balance of songs. On the, I love the 90s material, by the way, which is interesting because a lot of people heard Ghost Shadow and thought, oh, Anvil are finally returning to their roots, which I think you've always been to your roots. But anyway, but you have that worth the wait kind of vibe. And we, forget about all the other guys who were... Well, it's always been... I know, no, that's, no, what no, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. The biggest comedy is, welcome back. Anvil, welcome back. Back no, to no, basics. No, no. Back to basics. No, well, they've always the been other, back to basics. It, no, it's the other way around. No, you fucking, you fucking buzzard heads, you're welcome back to, to Anvil World. Well, yeah. and the, I remember the yeah. shit that you got. You know from what I'm saying? saying? Like, yeah. it's the other way around. Yeah. We've always been here doing this all. I know. Like, I some, know. Some fucking moron goes, "Wow, Rob Reiner can still play double bass drums." Like, still what? play? Yeah. What? He never stopped. <laughs> when did he stop? He's one of the fastest speed metal drummers of like, all when time. when the fuck? What the fuck is? What the fuck is that? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is. You know, I hey, uh, it, it, it's. It can be frustrating, but at the same time, it's very gratifying because, okay, welcome back. Okay, thank you. And, and speaking of uh, what welcome I, back, what can I say? It's for you to discover. Well, I, I, I can't make people. I, but, I can lead them to the fucking lead, lead the horse to the water. But I can't, you can't make, make them, them drink. drink. But let's it's just the way it but is. But let's take a little tangent from that, and when, we know how much I worship your lyrics. But let's talk about the music too, because you guys have wrote. And I don't know why you call it Gomez. But you guys have written basically the sequel to Swing Thing too, showing your versatility and talent outside of metal, showing that you have jazz fusion style. That it, I mean, people don't listen to Landville to hear songs like Swing Thing and to hear. Yeah, but they don't. Gomez. They also don't understand that they've been that even in that those are those are places that we brought it right up. Because Gomez just blows me away. I don't know why it's called Gomez. Okay, but, well, but let, let me explain. Yeah. I, it, 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 yeah. the, the, the real the real truths are. The to real, me, it's swing thing too. Sorry. The, the, the real truths are. Rob and I love big band. I swing. know that's what it sounds like. So yeah, I hear but, Gene Krupa type drums. The thing is that the public don't realize. And going back, you go back to 1983 and you listen to Motormount. People are not realizing that the influences for that come from jazz. Come from jazz. Gene Krupa. And all that kind of, da, da, yeah, I know. Da, 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 well, she da, pointed da, da, out today da, da, on Tea Bag. She's like, "Are we listening to Tequila?" I'm like, "No." They keep saying Tea Bag, Tea Bag, with a da, 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 da. it has that Tequila vibe. So once again, it goes back to that that '60s '70s kind of sound that was versatile music. So I mean, well, it music, doesn't pigeonhole you. The thing you. is, for me, for me personally, there's only it's not a matter of this band, that band, this music, that music. It's there's music. only two kinds of music. Good and bad. That's it. Yeah. Either I, I like it or I don't. That's and, it. And I don't give a fuck there what, you go. He likes what, it what the it. what the brand is or what the or what the label is label or what the genre is. is. That's, or what the your, that's your fucking business. To me, I like I I fucking love Lady Gaga. Me too. Yeah. I fucking <laughs> love her, man. She's got a great sense of humor too. Oh, Everything about her, it, it just says, Over the top. you deserve... Oh, yeah. so, so back to the music you've written and the music you've constructed, I am curious to ask, did Christopher help write anything off the new album? Because he is such a fantastic bass player. Well, no, what... And his musicianship no, what, what, is... What, the way that... You see, the thing is, because of because of the way that everything worked its way in the past, where I've had musicians and I gave them royalties and wrote, wrote them in, I decided I'm I'm finished with it. Okay. And and, and, and okay the, with that? the best explanation is, you know, when when uh, metal on metal got used in The Simpsons, <laughs> Dave Allison got royalties for it. Oh. Okay. He so did? how do you think that feels to me? That sucks because he didn't have anything to do with that, other than just playing it live. Well, day. and it, no, well the other thing is it was it was a new, it was a re redone version. But his name is in with the, the writing, so he gets royalties from it. But my whole thing is, it doesn't really, it's not really fair to me in the sense that I'm the one that carried the band all along and exists today, and that's why it got 
And then they asked Dr. The Simpsons. And then the Simpsons. So why are you paying somebody who has nothing to do with where the band is at today? And then the Simpsons have to I'm not to say so what, what what has happened is and, and what it's all turned into and, and, and evolved basically and fundamentally I, the way that I was as, as a person has changed and what what is that change it's it's a level of confidence I'd go into rehearsal with bits and pieces that here I'm up you know, you go into go into rehearsal with bits and pieces, and we'd work work it out, and it'd take a couple hours. And and in cases with when Glenn was with us, it would it would it would actually turn into a, uh, what would not what should be taking 15 minutes is now taking 15 hours. And why? It's because instead of helping, he's inter intervening. So he's questioning everything that I'm doing. So instead of writing, I'm explaining why. Why am I explaining why? You don't explain it, you play it, and you learn it. You don't fucking, you don't ask, you don't go and ask Geezer Butler why he wrote the lyrics to Iron Man. You know what I mean? God, no. Why are you, why don't you use some other words? You know what I'm saying? You don't ask the creator of something to... Why are you doing that? They're doing it because they're doing it. What the fuck is... I don't get it. Anyway, it, it would... It, so, giving royalties and doing things like that, that's... I had to, it had to come it to an end. end. It came to an end. But you do feel now... I, I, so what, what... And how did it come to an end? I go home, I sit in my room, and I write the song top to bottom. Okay. That's what, that's what it's turned into. Fuck doing it at rehearsal. Fuck that. Okay. You know, and it was driving Rob crazy because I'd come <laughs> in with, with 30 different riffs and he'd have to pick one. And he's going, dude, instead of doing that, why don't you come in with something completely prepared that make it a hell of a lot easier? And I imagine during COVID you were just fully inspired because you had nothing better to do just around. So, well, what, 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 so, what it, so what it turned into is like, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to stop driving you crazy, man. I'm going to come in with finished finish shit. So I come in with finished songs top to bottom my part and my part goes from the beginning to the end everybody else's is is, a, is the accompaniment right okay. to that okay and that's what it's been all along but the way that I'm bringing it in and I'm generating the stuff on the floor as it happens they feel like they're being like they're part of what's of its writing, but they're actually not part of the writing. I'm doing it, but I'm doing it while you're there. But that doesn't mean you wrote the song, right? And that's where the that's where the the discrepancies. That's why the guy talks about it. I co-wrote. No, you were there when when Lips wrote it, but you didn't actually write the parts, right. and you gave him a hard time through all through it. That's what you did. You didn't really write any parts. And right. that would you say now with Christopher and the band? So what? So what's happened is because of that that change and the confidence, I know exactly what. Hey, I know exactly what I'm doing. Like I've actually finally come to the complete conclusion. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know where the when I write a piece of music, I know where the verse is. I know where the chorus is because I'm the fucking singer. You're the source. <laughs> it's not like I need to 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 co-write with a, with a singer. I am the singer. Yeah, you're the source. So why am I why am I going to a bass player, the accompaniment, the accompaniment instrument, and asking his opinion? Why? Doesn't make sense, does it? When you stop and think about it, it doesn't make I, sense I, at I all. Understand, totally. You're asking the accompaniment instrument for for ideas. <laughs> that, that, that 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 that's that's not how you write. You write. Because you're writing a song, so th 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 this is what's changed, and what has changed, particularly more so in the last, for the, for 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 legal at la last, for for uh, for impact is imminent, and now even for number twenty that's sitting in the can waiting. Jesus, I, I wrote everything. Another fourteen songs are sitting waiting right now. So what am I doing? I'm writing lyrics. Right now, as as we as we speak, I'm writing right, lyrics, lyrics for the next album. That will that will yeah, be the for the album. next album. That's what I do, you know. So, uh, but 
where I look for for things like I'll sit and I'll have a, a discussion with with Chris and and Rob and I go I need I need uh, two syllables or three syllables or whatever right I'll just give you an example okay right um, the other day uh, the other day I went through I went and I started writing a lyric and it I need a three-syllable title, and it, and it, it's it's we had a riff that goes, and that's that's what it does, and it repeats. So I need three syllables. The world of fools, right? That's awesome. So oh, that that's a title. Okay, so but in the discussion we figured I need three syllables, and then. One either Rob or or Chris went World of Fools. I went. I like that. Okay, I'm going with that. That's awesome. And that's how do, how do you do it? You keep looking for something that fits. Oh, absolutely. Fits on the riff that, and then you go. Yeah, that suits it. Okay, that's what the lyric is. So, you know, and then it it just turns into something. So w- the way that I. I r- the music is already written. How this is going to fit on the music is yet to be discovered. Right, 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 right. right. Because I don't have, I'm not here singing. I wasn't, at, you know, at the hotel that when we were writing this, I didn't have my 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 multi-track system with the right, microphone, right, and I'm right, going right. to try and fit all these lyrics and, and adjust it and make it work. I just I just went, you know what? Sometimes it's just better fill the fill the page with a bunch of ideas and then I'll sort it after so what did, what did it end up repetition of the same mistakes never learning what it takes desperation to lay blame to lay blame empty excuses it's always the same forgotten morals of a distant past the burning embers that never last misinformation the pack of lies misinterpretation no one complies integration may be the, the desired state cavemen's computers times too late cancellation of historical facts truth falls between the cracks intimidation to enforce their will take taking medicine swallow the pill confusion caused to misdirect manipulation and a way to reflect that's that's, that's oh amazing it's awesome how can anybody criticize you for your little my little world is i'm getting i'm already getting ready for the next album and here we are talking about this it's, it's awesome. bizarre. No, I do. But, That's brilliant. But um, the whole fucking thing is is about confidence, and I've gotten to a, I've, I've I've really gotten to the point where I'm going. I got I got I got a grip on this now. Yeah, you do. Like I really do, and 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 it, I mean, yeah, late in the game, but you know what? It's probably more important at this point than it's ever been. Because everybody's going to be so judgmental because it's an old fucking guy, right? Can he still do it? And he, listen, the pressure never, ever yeah, ends from that. day one till the day you die as a musician. You're always proving yourself, always. Even when there's nothing left to prove, you're still proving yourself. So it, 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 it is what it is, and that's what it is, right? So, yeah. But we're wrapping it up. But I just I do I want to thank you so much for sharing with new lyrics with me, sharing your. your, your I mean your, I don't know whether. No. Well, this is this is the other thing. I'm sorry. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Are they are they already? And playing? we can talk about it, and it's an interesting it's an interesting an interesting. Uh, is Midnight Rebellion on? A really interesting thing. A good 35, 40 years ago, I was my first marriage, right? Oh, your first marriage. Okay. And when I, my first marriage. My first wife was very intuitive. Oh, okay. So was my wife. Very, very intuitive. I mean, it didn't work out, and and why the reasons it didn't work out started too young. Well, yeah. We you all... know, what I mean, that, it, that's the problem. Maybe, maybe it would have been different if it hadn't been that way. But when you start a relationship at fourteen, by the time you're oh, thirty, fourteen. You're, yeah. 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 By the time you're thirty, you've cooked it. Yeah, and 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 that's and and what we cooked it? Anyway. It was the failure of Anvil. That that's what really cooked it. 
I, I'm just being st straight, straight up, up. Yeah, fucking I, true. I, I so appreciate you know, we, your know What happened was we were rising, is. we were rising, and she was right there by my side. And then, you know, when the, the choice between Johnny Z and David Krebs, and we ended up going with David Krebs, which seemed like the right thing to do, <laughs> because after all, he managed Ted Nugent, Aerosmith, Scorpions, Joan Jett. I mean, the endless list of fucking... And Johnny Z was struggling to get anthrax. And, and Johnny Z is struggling to even get anything God happening. And he, this is even previous to anthrax. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, at the end of the day, the way that she perceived it is like, I'm out of here. But... Uh, and, I, you know, it, it, when you look at, back at it, you can see why I can understand it. It's just enough is enough. Aside from other reasoning, and there were other reasons, but if, if nothing else, that was a major one. It's just like all this and this is going on. I, I, I can't go through it all again. Understandable. You know, understandable. understandably. So, but in in that day and age, her, her, her outlook was you, you got... A bass player and a guitar player when you really only need one guy to do that job she was right about that she said you just need you need a fucking top-notch bass player who can sing and you're not going to get that till way later on and the reason being you need to build your credibility and then you're gonna get somebody of high quality because they're gonna it's gonna be worthy for them to join and she was absolutely she fucking was. correct. And you finally found Chris. And because Chris. at the end of the day, once we hired Chris, why are you going to need a fucking guitar player when you got a guy that... I mean, this guy is... First of all, he lives... He's got a couple bands going. The other ba band is that he's got going is a prog band. And that he lives sense. with the guitar player who runs a studio in the basement. And Chris is the backup vocalist for all the bands that come and record okay so what does that mean he needs backup for harmony vocals chris come downstairs and the bands pay him to do to do all the overdubs and that pays for his fucking rent so not only does he have is he an expert bass player which he also does tracking for bands that don't have bass players he's he's a fully fucking seasoned fucking okay. studio musician <laughs> that in, in the sense that oh you need uh, harmonies for this which harmony do you want God. and it and it's instant it's not like it needs to be practiced that guy go you need the fourth oh you need the oh you need the fifth no problem oh and he God. just goes out and fucking sings it right in fucking perfect like what the fuck? <laughs> the the producers, the, or my producers, just sit there and they, their jaw drops. It it's like the guy goes out and he fills the fucking he fills the the background, all the background vocal, every fucking harmony. So the guy's guy got all the they, all, all these fucking tracks of Christ singing, all the different harmonies. So they have to figure out hmm, which one sounds best. Hmm. Oh, that's and they're all him. They, they got Damn. everything to fucking choose from. Jesus. So I just sing all the main lines. Just to use Chris for the, all the background. All the background. It's the wall of fucking sound, it man. It's the wall of sound. And and it's it's fucking unbelievable. That's awesome. And what live could be too. more additive than that? And live too. It, 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 it and live, live, we're doing shit. People are going, what the fuck? Yeah. Wait till you hear legal at last. Can't wait live. to. I've never heard it live. You're going, I mean, I hold the, the note, legal, and then Christ's going, legal, legal, legal. It's like, <laughs> holy fuck. And it's, without that there, you don't, it's not the same. It's changed anvil to the anvil that once was when we had the two guys, like the early days. But it's one guy. So but it's good. one guy who's not fucking wasted out of his fucking mind and fucking everything that that he can hold still. Like I'm just saying that the old guys that we had were in the band not for music. They were in the band to get laid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. And there's a big difference. Oh yeah. There's a big difference in the, the musicality. Christ is a, is full on musician. Yes. 
the last thing he's worried about is whether he's getting laid tonight. That's awesome. Whereas that's where the big difference. All he's worried. His thing is, let's make. We want show. perfection, music perfection, like Rob and I. Right. So the, the, when you say this has been the best nine years of Anvil's existence, right now, when when Christ joined the band, that's the real Anvil. For the first time, that's actually the most real Anvil that there's ever ever been. So pretty much, in the, my opinion, the AFM years, the two albums, Legal at Last. And oh no! Ever since Christ joined, he joined before you were. Was he was he with you guys on Anvil's Anvil? Yep. Okay. Okay. So he's been with us since Anvil's SCD. Anvil. Okay. All right. right. Okay. He's done four albums with us. Okay. Now. Four. Okay. So, oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Anvil is Anvil. Legal at he's last. Been with us almost nine uh, years. So right. right. Okay. Pounding the pavement. Pounding the pavement. Yeah. I got to go through a bad, but yeah, pounding the pavement. Yeah, I mean, so legal you last, know, pounding the pavement, is, is, so his, but at the same time, no, he doesn't get credit on the, on the records for for, for writing. But he gets fucking paid. <laughs> That's right? good. That's good. You know, he's, he's right. happy. That's good. That's what's important. And that that it works. That works. And I don't have to, it, and I don't have to lie to the world saying that he wrote music that he never wrote. Right. He's. I used to do that because I didn't have the money to pay. When Christ joined the band, we haven't stopped working. Yeah, I know. You're we have not stopped. We have been so fucking... We have flourished so much since he joined the band that, like no other time in our career... That's awesome. I, it's been 15 years since I did a food delivery. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. Like you do in the movie. I mean, that just says it... Doesn't that say it all? Yes. It does. Yes. Yeah. You know, formative, you know, and people are like, hey man, they could have been bigger. I don't want to be bigger. I'm very fucking happy. I'm making That's a living doing what I love. love. That's what I want to hear. And I'm playing all That's over the fucking world. Fuck you. You want me to make, to be ACDC? You're fucking dreaming. We're not a commercial band. Never were. Never wanted to be. What the fuck close. kind of, what kind of fucking judgment is that? Not even close. You are not ACDC. Or like it doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. It's like, I, I read, hey man, had had Anvil, what would Anvil sound like with a real singer? Oh my god. Oh my shit. And I, 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 I sit there and go, then we wouldn't be Anvil, Anvil. would we? I can't imagine Anvil like, with a different what, what is a real singer? What What is the criteria? What is a real singer? You are so the vocalist. So it's like, there, there the are day. real singing guys. Halford Bruce, back in the day. Bruce Dickinson, I would classify as also a, a, real, a real singing metal real singing yes um helford only to a certain degree yes back in the day he's also falls into the category Balsetto. of character right absolutely he has now, to having said that the biggest Ian the, the also also character oh you think so okay yeah i i don't i there's a limit limitations okay yes he's got he's Amazing got the pitch. ability to scream is he really we like his voice, but it's a character voice. Okay. Closer, very, very close to being a singer. Yes, he did Jesus Christ Superstar. He gets, he gets my, my approval in the sense. Yes, you're right. I will agree. <laughs> Ian Gillen is part of that. Is Ozzy? No. No. God no. But anyway, thank you so anyway, much. Anyway, there's a lot to be said about what what we're talking about. But and I'd love but, to. But speak. character character singing is is by far the the highest the highest caliber uh, and the most identifiable and synonymous with metal and synonymous so when you hear Lemmy you can't imagine Motorhead you don't him. say what would Motorhead sound like with a real singer it wouldn't yeah. be Motorhead and I agree how that. can you say Motorhead without Lemmy I agree totally like fucking go away like Anvil without lips is not Anvil amen you know uh Certainly, Judas Priest without Rob Helford is not Judas Priest. Amen. They tried it; it didn't work. No, it did not. They got a sound alike, but no one accepted it, did they? Nope. Yeah. Nope. And that Queen's right without Jeff Tate's not Queen's right. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, most most of what metal is is the identity of that voice. It's not it's not how great the guy sings; it's the sound of it. 
that you immediately go, I know who that is. Exactly. And, and that's what the whole fucking thing is. It's like having the brand name. It's I, it's it's the it's the it's the audio of the brand name. And I played Impact as Eminent at least a dozen times today, and your vocals and your your singing are synonymous. I can't imagine anybody else doing those vocals, and I can't imagine anybody else playing that guitar, and I can't imagine anyone else even being an anvil other than you and Rob. So. You know, and the other thing is, truth be told, I'm being of the Jewish faith. Okay, you are trained to sing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why? That's what a bar mitzvah is. Yeah, exactly. So you don't realize, people don't realize well, you got to do all the prayers and stuff and all the prayers. Well, no, you, no, you have to learn a different language or got to read the, yeah, you the different language. The but not only, here's an interesting and very interesting thing that don't maybe you have to the sing, people don't know. Don't you have to sing when the Talmud? You, when, you, when you learn your... Your, your prayers or how to read that stuff. Right. There are musical notes that are written. Yeah, right, for the Torah. Absolutely. Well, not the, the, both. Both the Torah, Torah and, and the Talmud. And Haft Torah. And Haft Torah. They're, they're right. two different seg segments right. of, the, of the prayers that get read during your bar mitzvah. Right. But you're taught musical notes. Absolutely. And they're not really musical notes. They're riffs. Paul Stanley, actually Paul Stanley's talked about that. Paul Stanley's talked about that. So is uh, several other members of. Yeah, the they're group. musical riffs. Like Absolutely. there's a there's a little diamond shape that goes over, and that that particular one, and they have names, and that one is called Ravi. Right. That musical note is called Ravi. How is it? Ravi. That's how that is sung. That little riff melody. So to a certain extent, what, what, while you sing, you're praising God. You're so, praising, you're, you're, so when you you might never sang or or read that Hebrew lettering, but you see that little diamond, and you now you know how to sing that word. That's awesome. So you you're getting a music you get a musical education from from learning your bar mitzvah. That's awesome. Whether you wanted to or not, it's the only way you're getting through it. Yeah, so awesome. I'm just saying I know, that, I know, I'm that there to. there, there is. Five there's a lot of different aspects of really stuff that people never talk about or you, that never get talked about. And I'm not I'm not saying it as boasting and bragging. I'm just talking about it as actual fact. That's all. Well, obviously, it's a, such an honor to share and talk with you. I'm so glad we got to do this again. It means so much. And I'm glad you remembered me now. We talk about the lyrics. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. no. All right. All good. Only one person.